Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, terminal multiplexers and specifically in their relation to how they compare to window managers. Now, really this comparison is not fair because terminal multiplexers are a completely different kind of thing than a window manager and they both have their pros and cons and where you want to use them and so on and so forth. Uh, but I think it's it's a reasonable comparison in, in a couple ways because they do have some similar capabilities and it can be confusing as to what you know what you use them for. Uh, so today I'm going to go, going to talk a little bit about terminal multiplexers. I will say this: I am not an expert at terminal multiplexers. Uh, I don't use them often, very often, at all. I do use window managers a lot, so my bias is going to be towards window managers but there are several different reasons why you'd want to use a multiplexer and we're going to talk about them today but first if you could hit the subscribe button i'd be really appreciative of that um we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year which is still like 11 months away but january seems to have just <laughs> i'm still recording this january i think i'll be posting this and still in january but time is just a flying so before the end of the year I'd really like to get to a thousand so if you could hit the subscribe button I'd really appreciate that thank you very much uh, so let's uh, let's just jump right into uh, talking about this so first let's look at a, a, a tiling window manager this is DWM say I wanted a couple terminals side by side I just hit super enter twice um, oops I actually have to be in the right um, thing for that and I could just keep hitting them, and they just keep tiling and tiling and tiling and tiling. It's 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 a great thing, and, and it's not just ter terminals that will tile like this. It'd be any program that you want. Say if, say I wanted the the Blue Man Manager, so I just hit my key binding for that, and I have Blue Man Manager open there at the bottom. That's what a, a tiling window manager does, and it's all well and good, and it's what it's it's a serves its purpose in, in that it manages your windows all manages all of your windows how does that compare to a terminal multiplexer so the one that we're going to be looking at today is called tmux so it's just t-u-m-x and you just enter it and you can it's in the all the repositories it's really easy to download it took like five seconds to download it's not a big program at all and i know what you're thinking matt that looks exactly like what you just had and that's true. It, um, terminal multiplexer basically just allows you to go through and run a shell within, kind of within a shell. And what's the purpose of this, you ask? So there are several different things you can do with a terminal multiplexer. The simplest of them is it allows you to run multiple uh, instances of your console or your shell or whatever uh, in the same window. So if I hit Control B and then the um, shift 5 which is shift uh, parentheses not parentheses a uh, percentage sign I guess two two windows side by side and I can do it again I can do control B and then percentage sides again and I get another one it's half half and half so kind of uh, always half of the other you know window and you can do this vertically too I'm not sure what the key binding is I I'm not that far into it and if you don't use a tiling window manager, let's say you're on KD, you're on Plasma or you're on XFC or whatever, and you want to be able to run terminals side by side, a multiplexer is a fantastic option because it gives you the functionality of a tiling window manager while still being able to use your desktop environment. The issues of comparing them, obviously, in this sense, window managers have a, a big advantage because they can run uh, run other programs or other apps uh, you know GUI apps or whatever and manage those windows as well and that you can easily move them for it you don't have to worry about the crazy Emacs style key bindings and so on. you know it's just easier for what it does and if the argument stopped there window managers would win hands down but it t terminal multiplexers and tmux tmux like tmux uh, have other uh, functionality as well, which makes them suitable for other purposes. So if you're if you SSH into servers or other computers or whatever, and the connection happens to be shaky or whatever, and you lose the connection, uh, something like Tmux will allow you to actually have that uh, 
whatever you're doing persist until that connection comes back. So you don't actually have to, you know, lose all of your progress in something because you can just re SSH into whatever you're doing and continue right where you left off. That's called persistent state, I believe. Uh, another thing that uh, uh, terminal multiplexers will do, well, they they'll allow you to share sessions. So if you want to, I don't, and I'm not sure how you do this. Cause I've never actually done it, but you can go through and create a whole bunch of things that you're doing, and you can share that state with another person who uses Tmux, Tmux, I guess, and so that you can both be working on it, or um, so that they don't have to create their own. Uh, session in the same vein so it'd be like you could create a uh, like um like an ssh session that ssh is into several different servers you could share that and all the stuff would be going would be transferred over to whoever you shared it to uh, so those are the big things that terminal multiplexers allow you to do that aren't necessarily capable of being done uh with when with um window managers it's just something that's completely different and um it, it's really you know where the c comparison between them kind of falls apart because really the situation here is that window managers are window managers they they manage windows they uh they open windows they determine where windows are positioned on the screen and so on and so forth that's what windows managers do tmux is an application that's what it's, it is. It's completely different. It has some functionality of window managers, t tiling window managers specifically, but it has additional functionality that an app would have, like the persistent state, the ability to share. Uh, and I'm sure there are several other different things that uh, terminal multiplexers can do that just can't really be compared to with compared to with uh, compared to window managers themselves because they're just completely different ones an app ones the kind of like an environment now a lot of people live in tmux tmux is a lot like like emacs although oh it doesn't have like the application ecosystem it's more of like a, a, a i mean it's just one single app that you can then run multiple instances of or whatever so uh, but people do live in Tmux a lot. I mean, if you all you're using is consoles all the time, Tmux is great. Uh, especially if you're on something that you know you can't use, like a window manager. Say you're on like Windows or something, uh, Tmux something or something like Tmux is a good option. So that's just a brief uh, kind of very noob <laughs> way of explaining the differences between them. Uh, like I said before, I'm not a um, expert in any sense of the imagination when it comes to terminal multiplexers. Uh, I know just the bare basics and when I first started the research for this I just thought that Tmux just allowed you to use you know multiple panes. I was like why would you use that? It's the same thing as the tiling window manager just use a tiling window manager and you're all set. But the, that persistent state and the sharing stuff kind of turned me away from it and say these are two different things uh, that, that kind of share some of the same characteristics but are really two different things so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down uh, if you're more familiar with tmux give it a comment and i'd love to learn more maybe maybe somebody not out there uh, uses tmux for a reason and they want to share that i'd really love to hear from you thanks for watching i'll see you next time